Good morning, my friends. I'm Matt. Welcome to Richmond's Place. Good to have you here today. Um, today, we're going to have an instructional video on how to install a um, drip irrigation system in your garden. You're going to find that this is going to make everything so much easier. You're going to be able to just turn a knob on and boom, your whole garden's being watered, which is the case that we have here. Uh, we've learned a little bit over the last couple of years. Uh, this is year two with it. I buried some line this year so I can go over it and not uh, run the line over. But I'll talk more about that in depth here and why that's important. Today we're here, uh, you know, uh, today we're here to talk about how to install an irrigation system. Um, you're going to have several components to this. One is the main line, this stuff here. Then you're going to have the um, runs or the drip irrigation. Uh, this is what's going to go over around your plants. You're going to get some valves and unions if you need them. They also will supply you with this poker. And I'm going to show you how to put all this stuff together. The only thing that you will probably want to use, um, as far as tools goes, is a pair of cutters. That's it. Today, we're going to show you how easy it is to put this stuff together. You will be amazed. You'd be like, I should have done this years ago. Our first year here, our garden was about the same size as we have now. And uh, our acre, or er, our garden, is approximately an uh, acre and a half and uh, that's a lot of work to water. We did it the first year with hose and sprinklers, did a lot of it by hand, hauling the hose around and spraying the plants and everything down you know a couple times a day and dragging hose around up and down the aisles in an acre and a half was just, it was insane. You know, it's something um, I don't think we ever want to revisit again. We're going to take the main line that we were talking about. Um, this is your main supply line. It's the line, it's going to run across and then your runs are gonna run down the row. And each run is gonna plug into your supply line. And you use this, they supply it with the kit to put a hole in the main line. And all you're gonna do is take it, put it in, and you got a hole. Now, you're going to take your run, this is your, your drip irrigation, and you're going to slide it onto the barb. You're going to make sure that nuts all the way back. You're going to slide it onto the, onto the barb, like so, and then you're going to tighten this down. And it tightens right over the top of this and creates a nice seal. Then you're gonna take this, you're gonna plug it into here with some force. There you go. And it pops right in. This valve, you can turn your rows on, turn the row on or shut, or shut it off or turn it on. 
You can leave it on. I'm not hurting that either. Then, on the back side at the end of the row, you're gonna, you gotta close this off. They send you an item, it's a tool, um, with the kit, these here. They don't do so well. They want you to fold this over and then stick this in there. Stick that over it, but that doesn't work very well. What I found does work, it's a little hack I found on the internet, where you take this, fold it over a few times, so you get the folds there. Then you're going to cup it. Like this here. You get a cough, a, a, a short piece of your drip irrigation line. You're going to slide that in there over it. And you've created your seal. So nothing will come out that end now. This stuff is, it's amazing. It is so easy. We go out there and a quarter turn, we have turned on the main garden, a quarter turn on another valve, and we've turned on the back garden, turn on another quarter valve, and we are, uh, uh, we're watering our flowers and whatever else we got on this side. Hey, you guys all noticed the garlic call behind me? It's drying out now. Uh, Rebecca and Jax did a video on the uh, uh, garlic harvest, and it was great. We had we got plenty of garlic. We planted like 840 bulbs, or uh, 840 cloves. And out of it, we've got roughly 760 uh, um, bulbs of garlic. So uh, all that's drying out right now. So uh, here in a few weeks, we'll have garlic, lots of it. Some of it we're going to use to reseed for next year. Some of it we're going to use for home. And then some of it we're going to sell. This stuff is a game changer. I can remember growing up as a kid constantly having to move the sprinkler. Dad's got you out there uh, moving the sprinkler. He, he's moving it himself. And we're hauling hose. And my father was like me, no exception. Um, uh, we always had an oversized garden when I was growing up. We canned everything. And uh, moving the sprinkler around is like, it's kind of like weeding. I hate pulling weeds. And we're going to get into that in another video when we're talking about uh, what we've done for our rows. But for the, for the sake of this, when I was a kid, we were always pulling us. This garden hose was heavy, you know, and pulling it from one end of the garden to the other constantly moving it throughout the day every single day in the garden to make sure everything's getting watered and recently we went through a drought I mean we went like four weeks without water and uh, or we, well no rain uh, fortunately we had the irrigation system in uh, what a game changer we're not out there every day watering this thing and uh, It'd have been horrible. Um, I know Rebecca appreciates it. And you will too. I'm telling you, you guys put this stuff in, and you'd be like, oh my gosh, I should have done this years ago. I picked this up from GrowerSolutions.com. I'll put a link to it in the bottom. Uh, I hope you guys get a lot out of this video because. I think if you do this, you'll never ever want to go back to hose and sprinklers. This waters, gets the water exactly where you want to put it. 
you're not wasting it in between the rows. You're not wasting it into the driveway, the road, the neighbor's yard. You are getting it right on the rows in your plants um, where it belongs. The, the system runs at 14 PSI. Um, and it really doesn't use all that. It's just using the pressure to get it out to emitters. Um, it's drip. We do run on a well here, uh, so we can leave ours on night and day, and usually we do. It's not over taxing our well. Um, it just, we're letting a little bit of water out at a time where the water needs to go, and we're not wasting it in other areas. I can't tell you what this is going to save on your well, on your, uh, if you're on city water, um, what it would save on your, on your bill. I mean, this is the way to go. There's no reason to, I mean, you, honestly, you can get the strip, you can get drip irrigation anywhere. I chose Grower Solution because I get good quality from them. I don't like their shipping charges, but at least put in the uh, your drip irrigation uh, just to save yourself. Save yourself the money, save taxing on your well, save your plants, right? Because we all want to grow big plants with an abundance of uh, uh, fruit and vegetables. Um, yeah, this is the way to go. I hope you got a lot out of this video. I really do. And uh, it's easy to put together. Anybody can do it. Good luck and enjoy. Um, stay around for more tips and tricks because we're going to come with more, more how-tos. Oh, I almost forgot. This is our second year of drip irrigation. And what we found was the runs, the uh, drip irrigation lines that run down our rows. You need to put these in. They're just staples. And, and you put them in every two feet. This keeps um, the line from being sucked up in your, if you, like me, I mow between my rows because I left plenty of distance between them because um, I like grass in my rows and and not dirt um, anywho to get back to this these work great they hold it in line in place it doesn't get sucked out by the mower it happened last year to us at towards the end of the year I sucked it all up into the lawnmower yeah, it was horrible I had to relay it this spring this stuff here I would say you can lay it you don't have to worry. I don't think you'd have to worry about um, uh, uh, draining it. I think it'll be fine out there. And I would say just lay it out there. You should be good for two or three years. Um, this irrigation system, it has been a blessing. It has saved Rebecca so much time uh, spending it out there, trying to water the plants. Uh, by hand we did that the first year and oh my god she was out there four five six hours a day doing nothing but moving sprinklers and hoses and trying to make sure everything's getting watered in properly um, this year she just turns the valve on and she's watering this section of the garden maybe she wants to water two sections or she wants to water everything at the same time we can do that there's plenty of water because we're not wasting water. We're not putting water where we don't want it. We're only putting water in the rows. So um, if I would tell anybody, if you want to save time, you want to save yourself a lot of headache, put the system in. You won't regret it. If you like these videos, please hit the like button, share, subscribe. Uh, continue to come back we're gonna have more how-to's we're gonna share with you our 
um, our tips, um, some of the secrets, some of the things that we found out from our experiences over the last two or three years. I think um, sometimes we just all take it for granted that we can just go down to the grocery store and pick up our food. And um, I'm not, <laughs> I'm going to say it's a bad thing. Um, you know, the more I've got into this, the uh, more we have learned, um, you know, from selling vegetables, eggs, um, poultry, pork, um, beef. We'll be getting into more of that and what we're going to do and what we're not going to do and why we have to do the things that we do. I think um, you're going to be amazed. You're going to be amazed at uh, uh, what we're getting out of the grocery store these days. I'm not sure this is the video for this, for me to be talking about this, but holy cow, go to the grocery store, you know, uh, see what you're getting. You can grow it all here at home. I know it's a little bit of work. This is just one tip that will take a lot of that work out of it. Um, like I said, if you got a small garden, you should be able to set this up within a couple of few hours and never ever have to go out and water your lawn again, or water your uh, uh, your garden again. So give it a shot, it doesn't hurt. You can buy smaller kits, the egg kits, um, ranging anywhere from um, I think $40 up to $350. So, and you don't have to buy it from them. There are other places that sell drip irrigation. Just give it a shot. And uh, I hope these tips and tricks are help you. I, I um, we want to share everything that we're learning with you, so that you can be successful. Thank you, my friends, and please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for coming. Enjoy your day. Oh. And today's 4th of July. I wanted to tell everybody, happy 4th of July. This is our nation's birthday today. And I'm very proud to be an American. Thank you. God bless.